Everybody, it's Rosa and by the way if I'm filming this video and it starts screaming everywhere the elections are going on right now the polls are being counted or whatever and I'm over here <laughs> making YouTube videos because you can see my priorities today I'm going to read you guys a little bit about the blackbird of Chernobyl so if you guys don't know the blackbird of Chernobyl it is a huge black crow that was seen in Chernobyl I believe right before the nuclear explosion so without further ado let's go ahead and get started if you like this video please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet to join the Briar Patch fan band we have fun here all the time and let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually reading this from ghoststory.co.uk. I will link the story down below. I'm going to read it for you guys first. In 1986, the worst nuclear disaster the world has ever seen occurred at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Abandoned for nearly a quarter of a century, witnesses believe that the spirits of those who died in the tragic accident still roam the town. In the start of April 1986, the people living and working in Chernobyl nuclear power plant located near Pripyat, Ukraine in the former Soviet Union began to experience a series of strange events. Sighting of a creature described as a large black bird-like creature or a headless man with 20-foot wingspan and red eyes began to be reported by workers of the power plant. The creature would later become known as the black bird of Chernobyl. People who witnessed the black bird soon started to experience horrifying nightmares, threatening phone calls, and some had first-hand encounters with the winged beast. Reports of these strange happenings continued to increase until the morning of April 26, 1986. At 1.23 a.m., reactor number four at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in the former Soviet Union exploded. The power plant suffered a catastrophic stream explosion that resulted in a fire causing a series of additional explosions followed by a nuclear meltdown. The power plant spewed a plume of radioactive fallout which drifted over part of the Western Soviet Union, Eastern and Western Europe, Scandinavia, the UK, Ireland, and Eastern North America within 48 hours. 48 hours. That's all the time it took for this radioactive plume to go so freaking far. Like this is straight up like super volcano crap. Like this is scary, scary stuff. Many of the workers who survived the initial blast and fire claim to have witnessed the large black bird-like creature gliding through the swirling plumes of irradiated smoke pouring from the reactor. Most of these workers would later die of radiation poisoning. Now, my thought is they were probably already infected and they saw something. It might have been a plume in a shape of a bird. You know how sometimes we see clouds outside and we're like, oh look, that's a cat, oh look, that's a dog. They could have seen or they could have hallucinated a bird. But the scary thing is, if that was the only time they saw the bird, then I'd be like, okay, fine, whatever, this is just a ghost story. But people saw the bird before this even happened, the black bird of Chernobyl. And crazy things were happening after they saw the black bird or the headless man of Chernobyl. So, I mean, <laughs> no further sightings of the black bird of Chernobyl were reported after the Chernobyl disaster, leaving researchers to speculate just what haunted the workers of the plant during the days leading up to the disaster. Now, of course, people say that crows, blackbirds, ravens are bad omens. Personally, I don't think they are because I'm obsessed with ravens and crows, but that's, that's just me, guys. That's just me. I mean, winter is coming, so I mean, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is a picture of the bird terrifying Look like a headless man see there's like no head but i mean i don't know what these glowing glowing things are commonly accepted theory suggests that the blackbird of chernobyl may have been the same creature dubbed in the mothman that terrorized the population of point pleasant west virginia leading up to the collapse of the silver bridge on december 15 1968. both the blackbird of chernobyl and the mothman have not been sighted since their respective disasters leaving many unanswered questions. So those are kind of my thoughts on the Blackbird of Chernobyl. I did read you a little bit of an article in it. I apologize if that kind of bored you. I really enjoy that kind of stuff. I have crows that literally just hang out outside my house. And I remember in my parents' house when I used to live there, there were crows all over the place. I would always be like, crows, come to me. But alas, I don't really want to see a crow with a 20 foot wingspan and freaking red eyes. Thank you very much. I didn't know that, uh, the Bird of Chernobyl and Mothman were very similar. So that is everything for today's spooky video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't yet to join the Briar Patch Fan Bam, where we have fun here all the time. And I'll see you guys all in my next video.